Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Wi-Fi 6. I think you guys know that I really, really like talking about Wi-Fi 6. As much as I love NAS and Thunderbolt and all of that different kind of storage technology, I do think Wi-Fi 6 is something that's been long overdue. When we look at our network attached devices in our home, be they NASes or we look at mobile phones and TVs, and Amazon Fire Sticks and Alexa and consoles, one of the most consistent threads there is, we're just sick of the bottleneck. Our internet speeds now are getting to a point where the main bottleneck in our home and office environments is the physical devices themselves, not even the internet that we're getting pumped into our homes of these ridiculous connections is like being matched by our internal devices. We've got 4K multimedia, we've got huge amounts of data being generated by all of us every single bloody day. And we've got a bottleneck in our home and office environment, which is why I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about the Wi-Fi 6 card from QNAP, something that we kind of knew about a while ago, but now it's been fully fleshed out by leaked information and QNAP's own live stream. And I do recommend you check those videos out because this is a significant jump in terms of PCIe upgrades for their NAS system. Stuff like the newest generation 53D series arrive with PCIe upgradability, and with that, you can improve those devices in their lifetime. It means, in much the way you'd upgrade the memory, you can upgrade the network interface port for ports. But some of us like a wireless setup, and that's where Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11ax or AX Wi-Fi comes in. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about Wi-Fi 6 itself. I've already done a bunch of videos on that, as well as how to upgrade your laptop very, very easily for about 20, 25 quid to Wi-Fi 6 very, very easily, along with upgrade cards like this one. But QNAP having their very own Wi-Fi 6 card is a big, big deal. Because Wi-Fi 6 is generally, if you use it right, significantly faster than standard 1GBE. Case in point, the NASs that we're buying these days, the majority of them, with the exception of a lot of the 2020 newer generation from Synology and QNAP and Acer Store, are all 1GBE as standard. And 1GBE will give you 100 megabytes or 1000 megabits, but ultimately 100 megabytes of transmission. And the router and stuff in your home may be older gen with 1GBE, so in other words, 100 megabytes. But the fact of the matter is, newer generation phones newer generation routers, newer generation switches, and more are starting to introduce these larger connections, either in the form of 2.5 GPE on newer generation switches and routers, and of course, newer generation NAS, like the 53D. But on top of that, Wi-Fi 6 compatibility on a lot of these wireless routers. Now, these devices will allow you to get up to 2,400 megabits, or 240 megabytes of wireless transmission with the right distancing and the right data packets and the right handling. The result is that you can have a NAS like this having a faster wireless connection than a lot of standard NASs have as a wired connection, which is about bloody time. Now, the wireless card that they are producing here, the Wi-Fi 6 card, is compatible with both NAS and PC systems. We've done tests before of trying to install a, what this particular Wi-Fi 6 card into a QNAP NAS. I believe it was a 251D at the time, and it wasn't successful. However, I'm pleased to say that this QNAP card is very similar in architecture, but even better. So it arrived with, for example, that AX200 Intel um, Wi-Fi 6 adapter on board with 2x2 two two, um, MIMO. Now, that's going to be quite useful because a number of you out there when it comes to Wi-Fi 6 aren't just getting it because of its speed. It's because of its latency and its lossless um, drop avoidance The Wi-Fi 6 has. It has um, a better coverage in smaller distance in terms of speed, but it's ultimately about how it passes through surfaces with Wi-Fi that's an important factor. Now, this card, as I mentioned, is supported by both PC and NAS systems, with the added benefit that if you're a PC user, you can utilize the inclusion of Bluetooth 5 as well. So you can install it inside your PC to get Wi-Fi 6 on a PCIe enabled PC, but also get Bluetooth. But you will have to attach it obviously to the MOBO, which is gonna to have to give up one of your USB sockets on your motherboard. But ultimately, it means that if you get two of these cards, and again, they're not going to be that expensive, the QNAP card. If you get two of them, you can then create a much faster wireless connection to your NAS than you had wired. And that's 0.2 to 
point if you so choose, which is going to be great for photo editing. Video editing, it still might not quite be enough. Now, it's also worth highlighting you can get two of these cards and put them in different NASes and have a wireless backup in place. And remember, you'd be getting up to 240 megabits. On top of that, remember a lot of that modern NAS, as mentioned, is 2.5 GBE. So then you've got 2.5 GBE NAS going into a Wi-Fi 6 um, you know, router that might have 2.5 GBE, and then make your PC Wi-Fi 6 as well, creating that great 2.5 or 2.4, in this case, GBE network that will allow you to edit files a lot greater on the fly as well as have a better transmission for files that are much, much bigger by their own architecture, such as 4K multimedia, maybe even some of those VMs, where VMs now are moving to a point where they're not just a simple web portal that you're looking at. They've got some serious guts behind them. Now, the, the card itself arrives with a separate antenna that's wired in with two antenna sockets, and it's a kind of a magnetic um, uh, antenna that you can attach to a metal surface or directly onto the NAS if you so choose. And then it has that two times two coverage. Now the card is a complete it's a complete package. It's got the different backplanes on the rear of it, and it is plug and play as far as NAS is concerned. You will need to download the driver to utilize it on PCs, and that's an Intel driver, it's completely free, it's really easy. But on a NAS, connect it, re reboot your NAS, or sorry, turn your NAS off, connect the card, turn your NAS on, and it will appear in the network and virtual switch where you can give it a password, SSID, if you want a private network, or if you want it to communicate with your existing Wi-Fi 6 network. It's got lots of functionality, and I'm genuinely looking forward to speed testing it versus 1GBE, as well as taking advantage of it in a 2.5GBE network, because I think there's a lot of ways to reinvent your network environment and your workflow, workflow looking through this device. Now, with regards to release dates, with regards to uh, prices, unfortunately, we don't have anything confirmed right now. Although I will say that is, we're looking at Q3. Let's be realistic. Upgrade cards generally will be released a lot quicker than a standard NAS. And this looks to me like it is completely ready to rock. So I would expect this, I would say, latest August, maybe the earliest of September. And remember, there is that complete package with that two-way aerial. But is it perfect? No. You have to bear in mind that all the speeds I'm talking about today are theoretical. And that's because you need to have the optimum environment to take advantage of them. Also, it's a dual band card. So depending on whether you're going to be utilizing 2.4 GBE or 2.5 GBE, the difference can be 55, 60 megabytes per second on that lower band. And when you go onto the higher 5 gigahertz band, that's when you see those speed increases. But this will be spread across multiple devices, so do bear that in mind. Now, when we when we get hold of this card, we'll of course be testing it on the 53D. But it is a PCIe Gen 2 times one card, which means it's going to be largely supported by any QNAP NAS or indeed pretty much any device that's got PCIe on board. Now, that PCIe times uh, Gen 2 times one will give you around 500 megs. Bottle, um, not bottleneck, throughput on the PCIe connector. And given Wi-Fi 6 is only going to be taking up at most 240 megabytes of that potential 500, I think you're going to be absolutely fine in terms of whatever you plug this into. Even if you stick it inside a PCIe 1 times 1, you should be absolutely fine to a degree. But this has been the QNAP Wi-Fi 6 card, which I am genuinely looking forward to getting in here and testing out on a number of these devices, particularly getting two of them to test that synchronization, because I think there's a lot that can be done there and something a number of you may want to introduce into your backup strategy and not just your network in general. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do check out the links to both NASCompareisonspan.com in the description. Click like. If you've enjoyed this, click subscribe to learn more, and I will see you next time.